introduction of the company which is Dutch Lady Industry will have established in 1963 and first company made in Malaysia. The mission of the Dutch Lady is helping Malaysia move forward in life with trusted dairy nutrition. The, the vision of Dutch Lady is to further state our position as leading dairy company and driving growth in Malaysia. Among the products that produced by Dutch Lady Industries per high including three range of product is for mom to be is free so mom gold for the growing children is Dutch Lady 1, 2, 3 and Dutch Lady 4, 5, 6 and for the family is 0% fat drinking yogurt Dutch Lady perform and Dutch Lady milk and others in Malaysia the industry analysis of Dutch Lady Milk Industry Bahad is the company manufacturing and distributing a range dairy market segment. The company have 40% market share of the liquid milk segment. It was created a product diversification and affordability to drive penetration. The Dutch Lady product is together bringing Malaysia to participate in the annual work Milk day. It represents large expense for customers and improves sales revenue more than 1.07 billion. It has profit 137.6 million based on the annual report 2019 to measure the performance of this industry. The demand of this product will drive growth by increasing competition from Nestle and other dairy competitors. Therefore, although the sales volume are growing, the price of milk are getting cheaper, so Malaysia can drink Dutch Lady so nicely and delicious. Next, regarding the sword of Dutch Lady. For strength, first, it have a good brand image. Dutch Lady have a good brand image and large market present in the dairy industry as they sell high quality milk to their customer. Second, Dutch Lady have a variety product line. Dutch Lady have a variety of dairy products and fruit juice in the market. It is because they have a variety of flavor for their milk product and juice and it have a demand for it. Lastly, Dutch Lady also have a strong employment skill. Due to their excellent employee skill, it be able to bring a good brand image toward Dutch Lady and due to that, the staff will be able to make improvement toward their production. Witness lack of product awareness on milk quality, milk composition and food safety issues among 10 actors. Milk quality is always be the main issue as it is easy to become still milk. And next is the low product diversification. Dutch Lady is having low product diversification because they do not diversify into various segments where it is only focusing on normal flavor. And the last one is the low target market. And it shows Dutch Lady has a low target market as it focuses on kids and a few products for adults and there is no target market for the elderly and pregnant mom. After that, for opportunity. First, Dutch Lady have a lack of substitute of milk product. Dutch Lady have a low product line in milk product as they concentrate more on promoting other dairy products such as ready-made milk. Furthermore, they are tremendous potential customer in the market. When Dutch Lady is able to introduce more variety of dairy product, they will be able to attract more customers to buy it, and the demand for Dutch Lady product will increase. Moreover, Dutch Lady should make a strategy for expansion of their business to other countries. Usually, when the business start to expand their business to other countries, they will be able to gain more recognition and gain more customers. Trades Fierce competition market. The other products like Farm Fresh, where it shows they have a good product diversification than Dutch Lady. In terms of promotion, the other brands are better in promoting their products. Increasing cost of import raw materials, high cost price, and poor quality of local product due to increased import. It is because imported milk is better than local. The last one is the price of transportation increase. As the increasing demand for imported raw material is also related to the increase in transportation and it will contribute to the factors of increasing price of Dutch Lady products.
Roman size balance sheet provides insight into a firm's capital structure and how it compares to its competitors. So, based on the balance sheet common size analysis of Dutch Lady, it shows that the composition of assets, liabilities and shareholders' equity accounts slightly changed from 2015 to 2019. As a percentage of total assets, the company is good as they are carrying less cash now than it did several years ago. This means that they are fully utilized their assets. However, their inventory level are getting increasing which is not good. Hence, they can re-examine their service level to decrease inventory level. In general, managers prefer expenses as a percent of net sales to decrease over time and profit figures as a percent of net sales to increase over time. By looking at this income statement common size analysis, it shows that the net income for Dutch Lady Company's performance is decreasing year on year from 2015 to 2019. This is because of the rising costs in COGS that contribute to the decline in the revenues. So, improvement in cost controls, productivity or the adoption of new technology can bring the COGS percentage down which resulting in a larger gross profit and an increase in net operating profit. Hi, my name is Norliana Binti Mispan and now I'm going to share the financial ratio of Dutch Lady Make Industry Berhad. There are several ratios that we want to highlight. It. First is inventory turnover ratio. So from the ratio, it shows that arising in year 2015 to 2017. In 2017, their inventory turnover ratio recorded the highest ratio with 5.59 times. Rising in inventory turnover ratio is a good sign as it shows that Dutch Lady Make Industry Berhad is very fast in selling their product. However, in year 2018, the ratio slightly decreased and the company bounced back in their sales more stronger in year 2019. Move on is account receivable turnover. So from the ratio, we can see that Dutch Lady Make Industry Berhad shows a good performance since the ratio consistently rising from year 2015 till 2017. From the ratio, we also can see that in year 2019, the ratio recorded the highest with 11.16%. Explain that the company is effective in collecting its receivable or money owned by the clients. Therefore, low ratio may indicate that the company should possibly revise its credit policy and find out the reason that they could not collect its customer payment on time. Continue, Dutch Lady had a good operating profit margin in year 2015 and 2016, which indicate that the company making enough money from its ongoing operation to pay for its variable costs as well as its fixed costs. However, it shows inconsistent ratio for the next few years, recorded lowest ratio in year 2019. Low in operating profit margin indicate that the company is inefficient on supporting their business operation. And last is debt ratio. So from the ratio, we can see that the company shows a rising in debt ratio from year 2015 till 2018. However, slightly decreased in year 2019. It shows that the company depend highly on its leverage, explain a greater risk taken by the company. So higher in debt ratio indicate that the company is financing a significant amount of its potential growth through borrowing. To conclude, debt is often favorable to issuing equity capitals, but too much debt can increase the risk of defaults and even cause to bankruptcy. The conclusion that we have come up from Dutch Lady report is first, for profitability ratio. Dutch Lady company shows that they were not able to manage well in utilizing its asset to produce profit and value to shareholders. Thus, Dutch Lady are unable to control their costs and have a poor management. For example, it shows that in GPM, the company have the lowest ratio in 2019 compared to 2016 that indicates inefficient in controlling costs to generate sales. Furthermore, the Dutch Lady leverage ratio shows that the company have a high debt in order to manage their production. It is because Dutch Lady have a high amount of debt held by a company that shows they have difficulty to pay off its debts. For example, in debt ratio, it refers that the company have a higher ratio which indicates the company is financing their operation using borrowing. Nevertheless, referring to Dutch Lady liquidity ratio, it shows they are able to manage well in fulfilling their short-term obligation. This is due to the company is getting better and doing well in using company assets to cover expenses. 
As example, in networking capital, it shows that the company is able to pay off its short-term liabilities. Next, for the efficiency ratio, shows Dash Lady have a good performance in generating their sale, where it shows their ability to generate more profit for its owner and shareholder. It is due to the ability to the company in fast selling of their product and able to collect payment from customer. As example, a consumable turnover shows that in 2019 have a higher ratio that explains the company is very effective in collecting receivable. Furthermore, in inventory turnover shows they are able to manage the inventory to generate more sales in 2019. For common size analysis, it shows that the company has a good performance in 2019 due to its high total current asset compared to 2018. It indicates a good choice for investors to invest in Dash Lady. In conclusion, the investor are worth investing in the Dash Lady company as their ratio shows a positive result. For the last part, it is about the recommendation that Dash Lady can use in order to make Dash Lady to be more successful. First, Dash Lady can make more promotion to generate more sales. Dash Lady can increase their promotion through social media platform in order to attract more customers. It is because when they have more sales, they will be able to pay long-term obligation. The second point is increase its product development. Dash Lady can improve the development of their product by introducing a variety change in order to generate small sales. For example, Dash Lady can make a new product for elderly and pregnant mom. The third point is maintain to a good brand image. To remain in a good market, Dash Lady must maintain its good performance in terms of its customer and shareholder. This will be able to attract more investors to invest in Dash Lady.